Hello and welcome. Welcome back in this cool video that, that, that I got and that I made actually. This is the Emerand GT. A GT car or a convertible GT car with a V10 in front. I received some cool comments of let's make a Viper Killer. I'm gonna make a Viper Killer very 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 soon but the V10 gave me an idea which is let's make a, a, a modern GT convertible sports car with a V10 in front because V10s are actually very 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 rare these days I think the only cars or the only car which is the Dodge Viper is the only one that that, that is currently using the V10 I'm not really sure that if they are, if they are gonna make a, a new model or if they're gonna drop it or kill it I'm not really sure but you get the point the V10 is a very very rare engine so let's start with the chassis I'm using aluminium uh, panels with monocoque chassis type, lightweight advanced strength, uh, advanced high, high strength steel with the, for the chassis material, front long digital engine placement, double wishbone in front, multi links in the rear with plus 4 quality on the chassis. Moving on, this is the engine aim question. Question, yes. Uh, it's a 90 degree 10 cylinder engine with aluminium block and 88 millimeters and 90.4 millimeter for the stroke which equals 5498 cc engine or you can say five and a half liter dual overhead camshaft with, five, with four valves per cylinder aluminium head material with a variable valve lift technology i'm using forged steel crankshaft with lightweight forged connecting rods and lightweight forged pistons plus one quality here 11.1 uh, to 1 is the compression ratio with 32 on the cam profile and 99 on the variable valve lift profile. Why, if you're wondering that, because I want to get the highest fuel efficiency and this way actually I got the highest number. Also, I want the engine to achieve as much as, as, as much horsepower as possible and also maintain the low end amount of torque. As you can see, the engine. if you're driving this car normally every day, you will use all this RPM maybe until 3000, 3500. This range of RPM is pretty much normal and torquey and economical. But if you want, if you put the hammer down and if you put your foot down, the RPM will increase and the variable valve lift profile will engage here. And then it, this will be like a total a new engine. You will get more torque as you can see and the horsepower will climb all the way to 601 horsepower. I'm using also variable valve time and technology on all cams with plus 2 quality here. Naturally aspirated with direct fuel injection and throttle per cylinder or you can say individual throttle bodies. So you have 10 throttle bodies. Yes, 10. <coughs> I'm using performance intake manifold with performance intake system. Premium, premium 95 octane is needed here and as you can see the air fuel ratio is 13.7 which is quite normal and regular and safe but i'm using all the way 100 octa 100 on the ignition timing which is very 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 advanced 8000 is the rpm limit with zero quality here i'm using long tubular headers with dual exhaust pipes 2.8 inch is the exhaust diameter or 69.8 millimeters i'm using also bypass valves high flow three-way catalytic converters with quad straight throw mufflers because we are using twin pipes zero uh, plus plus four quality here as you can see this is the final result 601 horsepower 426.6 pound feet of torque as you can see the engine is reliable it has it has good fuel economy or fuel efficiency it's uh, it's running clean the emissions are low it has sporty noise to it it's smooth it's responsive uh, the production unit units and the engineering time is very very acceptable for a sporty engine it weighs only or exactly quarter of a ton or you can say 250 kilograms exactly which is very 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 precise and very perfect as you can see this is let's try that smooth and elegant at idle and at low speeds and then when you 
put the hammer down. very elegant and very cool at the same time now as you can see I've chosen the convertible body not the coupe because I want to make a convertible GT sport car which I never did before but it's okay the 2005 model as you can see plus the quality on the on the body quality and the fixtures fixtures quality as you can see this is a custom color that I made here and actually I called it the silver shadow because it's kind or it's a mix between a dark silver and a, a black purple color at the same time let me show you the mix if you want to make it as you can see uh, you have we have here the the color input as you can see I've set it on red it's zero so there is no color input only white and here is the the uh, we call the brightness or the darkness yes let's set it as you can see you can you can start from 29 all the way to 30, 36. So I'm gonna put it a little bit darker, 32. And the flakes and the shine similarly together at this level here. As you can see, the the pearl color is all the way black, zero zero here. And as you can see, I'm not going I'm not going all the way because I don't want the the black to reveal too much. I'm going like in this area here. So as you can see, it has this beautiful silvery shadowy black color to it which is looking amazing as you can see I called it the silver shadow color and the brakes the brake calipers also had the same color as the car the rims has this kind of steel silvery color to them which is pretty much normal nothing special here moving on this is these are the fixtures that I've chosen these twin headlights twin grill as you can see the logo in front these in the indicators or we call them uh, the daylight daylights they running lights and these vents in front this vent here this uh, door handle the antenna back here and as you can see actually the antenna is a ridiculous thing let me just remove it because the the roof should tuck in and that I think will be on the way and this rear spoiler or wing whatever you want to call it uh, these tail lights, the license plate holder, the logo twin exhaust, and this rear grille, and the and this these small vents, and these rims, of course. Moving on, let me show you. Uh, let's see. I'm using rear wheel drive, as you can see. Dual clutch, six-speed transmission, not seven because seven will give me much much wheel spin, and I don't want wheel spin. Uh, I'm using 6 speed here, 320 is the gearbox top speed, I know it's not really that much for 600 horsepower, horsepower but remember this is a GT car, it's not like, uh, it's not a racing car, so 320 for a regular daily driving and also a GT car, it's pretty much perfect. 18 is the wheels, is the gearbox spacing as you can see, perfect in between. Between, in between the least wheel spin and the quickest 0 to 100 time is 4.7 seconds. Electric rear, uh, rear limited slip differential, zero quality here. Let's see if I can push the quality. No, no, they hate it. Okay, leave it on zero. I'm using radial sports compound tires with 240 front and rear. Let's see, will, will it make any difference? No, okay, so sport compound, as, I, as you say, as you, as you saw. 240 front and rear, 20 inch rims, 720 is the tire diameter, 20 of rear, of rear, 20 of rim offset in the front and zero in the rear, magnesium rim, rim material, zero quality, carbon ceramic three pistons, uh, brake rotors in front with 375 millimeter of size, carbon ceramic also in the rear, three pistons also, three, 355 millimeters with 40 on the pad type. 70% at the front, 30 to the rear, zero quality, fully clad uh, under tray with active rear wing, cooling flaps. As you can see, the front wing angle and the rear wing angle are all, both of them maxed out. I've actually tried to mess with them, make them medium, normal, or low, 
the best the what the best result is all the way to 100 so i can give it that extra extra grip from the aerodynamics with it going fast and it, without any other without, without compromising any other stuff of course i had to sacrifice with, with little bit of fuel economy but it's okay it's it's a good price to pay for good good performance uh, 54 on the cooling uh, on, on the engine cooling airflow brake airflow is all the way with plus two quality I'm using only two seats with premium interior premium sat nav entertainment system plus three quality here electric variable power steering with uh, electronic stability control plus launch control zero uh, plus two quality here advanced hands safety zero quality also active comfort springs I know that uh, some of you would say why didn't, why didn't you use active sport well because I want to make it comfortable this is a GT car or yes this is a, com a, a convertible sporty GT car uh, I have to make it comfortable and as, as you can see there's there is a plus there is a plus actually on the sportiness as you can see so these springs are also comfort they are not bad if you, you want to go you know for track day or if you want to take a take around around corners they are perfect Semi-active dampers with passive sway bars, as you can see. This is a custom suspension tune. Minus one and a half degree on the front camber, minus 1.7 degrees on the rear camber. The springs are 320 in front, 280 in the rear. The dampers are 260 in front, 2 in the rear. 4,000 of sway bars, stiffness in the front, 3,600 in the rear. With 139 millimeter is the ride height with zero quality. As you can see, we have no warning light whatsoever, which is perfect. This is the final result, guys. Uh, these are this is the spec sheets for the, the for the Emirin GT. As you can see, the market it will cost you with 10% of profits to the company. It will cost you forty-two thousand five hundred and seventy dollars, which is extremely cheap for a six hundred horsepower V10. And the premium interior, lightweight, advanced, high strength steels, chassis, electric limited slip diff, quick 0 to 100 time, uh, good top speed. What else do you want? Perfect looking, prestige shape, powerful, comfortable. As you can see, it's very drivable, it's sporty, it's comfortable, it's prestigious, it's safe, the environmental resistance is high, it's, uh, it's reliable. It has good utility points. It has uh, good, good practicality points for for two seater for a two seater convertible car. Uh, the car is clean. It's not really high on the emissions. It can do 19.4 mpg. I know it's not really that much, but it's great for a five and a half liter V10 and a car that weighs nearly two tons. As you can see, the car the car weight is uh, one let's see 1,928 kilograms. Uh, let's see, you can tow behind it 3.3 uh, tons, you can put nearly a quarter of a ton of cargo in it. As you, can see, the, as, as you can see, the aerodynamics are great, there is no brake fading, the stopping distance is perfect, 0 to 100 time in 4.7 seconds, it can do the quarter mile in 12.5 in, in seconds. I know it's, it's, a, it's a little bit slow in the quarter mile because it's heavy, it's, it's a premium it's a premium GT car. This is not like a, a racing car or a sports car. This is a premium uh, GT car or, or premium convertible GT car. It has, it has power in front, luxurious interior, good technologies, good fuel economy you can say. So it's perfect I think as a GT convertible. So let's find out. As you can see I've already run it around the test track. It can do it in one minute 19.71 but i'm not really sure this time will change i think okay let's fire it up <laughs>
as you can see it did it in 1 minute 19 seconds point 69 so it's less it's quicker than before now let's move on to the automation test track because as always I'm, I always I'm always interested in this straight line here what kind of speed we will reach <laughs> This is interesting 2 minutes 12 seconds point oh one. it's quick actually in the straight line I'm really impressed with the end result so this is the Emirant GT thank you so much for watching it has been a very very great video and I'm really happy with the end result if you enjoy the video press that like button let me see those likes go up in the sky but get subscribed if you, if you are new to the channel share the video if you want to share it and I will see you very very soon with more cool videos like this one and even more so thank you so much for watching and goodbye.